Hello, this is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and I've got quite a little unit here that I got from Rectivus. They sent me this unit for review, and it covers all these media that you see down here, from cassettes, 1970s, to CDs, 1980s, to memory sticks, and little TF memory cards. I got one inserted in right up here. It will play all of those. So we got like 50 years of media that this device will play. And this is the TR621. It's about $57 right now on Amazon. And I'm going to try to show it to you. So let's get some of this media out of the way. So we can bring it a little closer to the camera. It also has a remote control. And I will be showing you what the remote control will control. And it's about uh, 10 inches by 5 inches by about 8 inches and a half inches deep has a carrying handle Oop. has a telescopic antenna on the back for FM it has AM and FM receiver the mode control is on this side right here where you select either um, radio tape CD or memory card Again, the memory cards go in here. I've got a little TF card there, and this is where you would plug in a memory drive like this one right there. It has a headphones jack on the top, and the controls for the cassette player are up here. The controls for the CD player are right here on both sides, and on this and this will also control playing from the memory cards so from the memory it'll control the memory cards and the cd won't control the cassette at all or the radio or the volume okay that's good um so let's just start with the am fm radio so i'll come over here on the side i'll pick radio We'll get the make sure I get the volume down. Okay, I'm on radio. Oh, also, it can be powered with batteries. They go in the bottom. I believe those are D cell batteries. I'll have to check on that. Um, let me see here. What does it tell me? I haven't been using the batteries because it also comes with a power cord. That plugs in the back and it has an AC adapter built into it. So you can run it on AC, which will save your batteries. Because I think, like for instance, if you're playing a cassette, it's going to use up those batteries. I'm going to look here at the original manual, which is, the print is pretty small. And it says it takes six 5 volt VUM1 type batteries. I believe that is either C cells or D cells. It takes six. Has two speakers, and we're going to try it out right now. I've got it on radio mode. I'm going to turn the volume up. There we go. Rest easy. Shop the daylight saving sale and up to fifteen percent off your bedroom essentials. Find your nearest location at Casper.com. And then this is the tuning dial right here. Goes uh, about three hundred and thirty degrees. And we'll do a little tuning here. Okay, we can't play music too long. The um, AM and FM selection is on this side. And it's in AM. I'm sorry, it was in FM. Now it's in AM. And it's got a built-in AM antenna. We're going to pick up noise from... The electronics in my office. That's what you're hearing the hum. 
There's a strong station, so it overrides the hum. Gotta get off that music. Here we go. So it picks up a lot of stations. Just sitting here in my office. And then, of course, it does remind you that on AM, since the antenna is down inside this thing, to get a stronger signal, you have to move the radio to get it aligned properly with the transmitter that you're listening to. Okay, we can go. We were on FM, so that sounded great. Good volume. I just barely got volume turned up, so we got plenty of volume. Okay, now we're going to select the uh, memory card. And I've got a memory card in here with some free music from the YouTube library. So I can play that. And we'll go to USB slash TF position. And then you use this display to have it tell you what track you're on. Now, unfortunately, the display is kind of small. Plus, it's not backlit, so it's a little hard to see unless you get the light just right. Um, I usually don't pay attention to tracks, so I would never even use that display. You can, let me turn the volume up. There we go. Sound is excellent. And then you can use the remote to change tracks, we go forward. Okay, we forward to the next track. Next track, and then you can use the numeric keypad to pick a track. Like I think I've got at least 12 on here, so I'll pick 12. So it's going to 12 now. The music, I mean, it sounds great. And I, I just barely got the volume up. I don't want to turn it up too high. You can also mute the music with this remote. You can program how it plays the music back. So you can go into program mode and you can say, okay, I want you to play track 25 and then I want you to play track 2 and then I want to you to play track five and then tell it to that you're through programming and it goes through and selects those tracks in that order. That's both for the memory card and the CD player. Can't do it with the recorder. So let's go to CD and I'll put a CD in here. Oh, I've got a, now I had this CD in there, but this is um, not free music, so I don't want to play that. I've got a CD I made that's got music from the free YouTube library. So we go to CD, and then we can either use the remote to start it. I think it will start by itself in the first track, yes. And then we can also use these controls for the CD. Uh, repeat, stop, skip, program again, like I was telling you before. Um, pause, play, skip, and stop. Okay, so we're going to use the remote to stop. There, it stopped. Okay. Um, it does not have a eject button, so you have to push in this corner right here where it's uh, raised. Push in that corner, and it opens up, and then you take the CD out. So that works fine. Now, let's see. We did the radio. We did memory card. We did the CD. We'll do the cassette. And I have... Okay. Okay, we're going to go to tape. Now we're on tape, and that's also, also that position is off. It turns everything off. 
Now let's see. This is is this a pre-recorded stuff? Yeah, this is a pre-recorded tape, so I got it. I can't play too much of it. Uh, let me open it up. Get the little raised spot there. That that will. Oh, I'm sorry. Eject. There we go. And then we put the cassette in. Um, let me face up. See if that's all the way in. Yep, there we go. Okay, now I will hit. Now I'm using these buttons to control the cassette. So I've got pause, stop, eject, forward, rewind, play, and it will record. It will record from the radio, it'll record from the memory card, and it will record from the CD. So we're going to hit play. And it's going to start. I don't know if I put the tape in backwards or forwards. Okay, let's stop. I don't know where I am on the tape. I was playing with this before, so let's go to eject and physically look at the tape. Because if you recall, if you're familiar with, and why is that hung up? There we go. Oh, there's a little, uh, little doohickeys there that hold it in place. And I'm trying to look physically. Okay, it's about in the middle of the tape, so I should be hearing something. Maybe I just didn't have the volume up loud enough. So we're going to close this back up. We're going to hit play again, and then we're going to turn the volume up. Gee, do I not have anything recorded on that? And these are really old cassettes that I just happened to find. Let's, um, let's stop and let's rewind. So it's rewinding now. I actually didn't try the cassettes, these cassettes. It took me a long time to find them. I don't think it will play both directions. It does not say, so I'm assuming it does not play both directions. Okay, that should be rewound. So let's go play. I can hear some, but not much. Maybe I have written over this. That could be. Okay. Let's... <laughs> Eject it, eject, and I may have accidentally written over this. Oh, I know it's getting caught. Oh, yes. Okay, here is a little trick. Back in the days when you use these cassettes, the cassettes that um, were pre-manufactured, you know, they had audio on them, you could reuse them by there was a little hole right here a little punch out hole right here if you put tape over it that was the protection and it would allow you to write back on the tape again over what was ever there and apparently i had done this because here's the little tape that was getting caught when i was trying to take it out so i had been using this tape as a test tape for some previous test i did so that's why I can't find anything on there. There might be something at one end or the other where I started recording. Now, this is the one that I thought I used for the test tape. Because this one um, still has the little tabs in it. So this is a blank tape. And I may have recorded on that when I did a test on another device, not this one. So let's, let's see where we're at. Yes, that is a recording off of another unit 
that would allow you to record off of the radio onto cassette. That's what that is. Now, let me just try. Let me see. Let me try rewinding. And I'll actually try to record from, say, this guy here from this um, memory card I got. Okay, I think it stopped. And now, I, so you have to select, since I'm going to record now, you have to select the source, which will be the USB drive right here. So it's playing, and now I can hit record, play and record, and it should be recording it from the memory card. So I'll let it go for a while. And again, keep in mind, this is uh, free music from the YouTube library. Okay, that's enough. We'll stop. Stop the record, and then we'll go back to tape. Okay, we're back on tape, and we'll rewind. Didn't take long there. Okay, it's rewound. Uh, stop. Play. Yeah, there it is. And it did a good job of it. That sounds like the original. So, that's, that's what you can do with the cassette. Cassette only. So, the cassette will allow you to record off a memory card, off the CD, or off the radio. And it has a built-in microphone, which uh, the picture showed it was up here, right in here, back behind this screen. So you could record um, live using a microphone. Pretty cool. This thing's got a lot of features. It's $57 right now on Amazon. Goes on sale quite often. Check it out. Close that little door there uses all that all these media cassettes CDs memory cards tapes pretty cool thanks for watching and have a great day bye bye oh I just kicked the camera I always when one in my shows I've got to kick the camera once bye bye